you, you and Robert Sola go back over the race. Uh, 2006. Tell us about him. What, uh, any good stories about him? Um, well, he was a squatter um, when he first got the job in Houston, which was hilarious. Um, so I came with Gary Kubiak um, and Troy Calhoun, really, from the Broncos. And we, uh, in Houston, what was then Reliance Stadium, we had like a office that, uh, you know, there was one guy in there when I got there, it was Robert Sala, and he hadn't been terminated. He was, um, I think, working with Dom Capers um, before. He hadn't been ter terminated. I think he had like two more weeks of pay or something. Um, so he did an excellent job of just forcing his hand and getting face time with the head coach. Sat in there all week. I think I got there like on a Tuesday. And he just sat in across from me in this awkward room like, hey, dude, you got a job? No, I'm not really. I'm trying to see Gary Kubiak. And he just waited there until I think like Friday, barged in and told him, hey, you know, I'd really want to work for you. Um, and, you know, there's a lot of those those stop gaps at the beginning of Robert Sala's career. Um, always uh, a sponge, always unbelievably smart. He would, he would always blow my mind because our, like we'd have a problem with our printer and we're trying to print Visio or Excel or something. And he wouldn't call IT. He would just like open up this manual and figure out how to, how to figure this stuff out. Um, so he's always, always super smart, but had some hiccups in his career, which, I really, really respect because he just he just really stayed true to himself, kept pressing, finally um, was a little more fortunate when he was with Seattle and as an assistant there. Um, and then, um, you know, but he's, he's never been given anything, just like he wasn't given the job um, with Gary Kubiak in 2006. Um, I think when he went to San Francisco in 2017, it was under um, the – it was under the impression he would be the linebackers coach and they asked to interview for the defensive coordinator spot. Long story short, he hasn't been given anything and every time he's been given an op, he's taken advantage of it. So um, very, very close with him as a human being, um, really respect him as a, as a man. Um, but from a professional standpoint, he's lived the, the whole mantra of, of you, you don't define me. I define me, and he's pushed through and really, um, you know, one of the better defensive coaches and head coaches I've ever been around.